we were doing the scene in Bel Air, if you remember, it was the night of the full moon. And he had been lighting for an hour, which was a long time for Orson. And they had me up on the roof of some building or house. And he had been up there before and gotten down, and of course, very big man. I was afraid to tell him what I saw. And he said, tell me, Cameron, tell me what it is. Well, it's the moon. He said, what, where? And somebody helped him, maybe five people, get up there. And he took a look, came up, took a look, and we shot the whole sequence there by the light of the moon. That's worse than well. Mitchell originated the role of Happy Loman in Arthur Miller's Death of a Salesman on Broadway. After its closing, he appeared again in the Broadway production of Southern Exposure in 1950. Mitchell reprised the role of Happy Loman in the 1951 film adaptation. Mitchell starred in numerous Italian sword and sandal horror hit fantasy and thriller films, several of which were directed by Mario Bava. Among the collaborations with Bava were the action film Eric the Conqueror, playing a Viking blood and black lace in which he portrayed the owner of a fashion house plagued by a series of brutal murders and as a knife-throwing Viking warrior in the Knives of the Avenger. He also appeared in westerns such as Minnesota Clay and Ride in the Whirlwind. In later years, Mitchell appeared in villainous roles as a sheriff turned outlaw in Hombre in 1967 and Buck and Preacher in a Ku Klux Klan racist in the Klansman. In 1975, 1976, he portrayed Jeremiah Worth in the Swiss Family Robson TV series and had a supporting role opposite Leo Fong in the Filipino film Enforcer from Death Row. And of course, Mitchell was subsequently featured on the episode of Bonanza at ABC SWAT. He guest starred on the Landslide episode of Moving On in 1975. He appeared on Gene Evans' short-lived Spencer Pilots on CBS in 1976. Mitchell also had a role in horror films and mini exploitation films such as The Toolbox Murders. This creature featured the swarm, the slasher film, the demon, the slasher film Silent Scream. He appeared again on Broadway in 1978, production of The November People, and the same year starred as Henry Gordon in the television miniseries adaptation of Black Beauty. Of course, late in his career, Mitchell played a gangster for laughs in My Favorite Year and a police detective in 1983 film Dixie Ray, Hollywood star. He had a sporting role as the anthology horror films Night Train to Terror and from Whisper to a Scream, as well as roles portraying right-wing General Edwin A. Walker in Prince Jack and as a Captain Alex Jansen in Space Mutiny, a 1988 South African fiction film that appeared as an experiment in episode 820 of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Mitchell died of lung cancer on July 6, 1994 in the Pacific Palisades of California at age 75. He is buried in Desert Memorial Park in Cathedral City, California. Well, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for subscribing and liking and sharing. Who's your daddy? Be the indie of your friends. Wear the Sexy Cosplay t-shirt. Wear it on a podcast. Wear it to a convention. It's comfortable. Heck, even sleep in it. Your girlfriend will love it. You will love it. Click on the link below and get your Sexy Cosplay t-shirt shipped to you.